Alright, so in this video we'll see how we can create n particles and use different fields and solver instead of the native nucleus. So I'm gonna go to my n particles and quickly create a emitter and I'm gonna turn off the grid and let's select the overall nucleus here. Let's go to the outliner, let's select our nucleus, bring this down and then we have this. So in the nucleus, if you play this, we'll have something like this. Let me just make this something black and you have something like this so instead of gravity let's quickly turn this off and i'm going to make the gravity to zero now we have we don't have any gravity so we can add more gravity from going to a feeds and solvers instead what you can do is we can create some interesting thing with rn particles using some fields so what we can do is we can take a vortex and now even the vortex doesn't have that much magnitude, you can still see some motion going on, but we'll increase the magnitude here. So I'm going to make this 100. And now you'll start to see that we have something like this. I think the 100 is a bit too much, so I'm going to make this somewhere about 50. And maybe like 20. Okay. So now we have something like this. You can also have multiple fields. You can take a simple drag if you want. And maybe create a magnitude of 5 that will just create more drag with the particles here you can see and we can add uh, a bit more vortex power here I'm gonna make this 40 since the drag is holding them down very nicely let's reduce the drag to somewhere about 1 let's go back we have something like this so I'm gonna add some more randomness to this particle by simply adding some more turbulence and maybe adding a 25% of turbulence and now you see we have pretty amazing thing going on all right so I'm gonna quickly change the appearance of this particle by simply going to the shading here and changing this to spheres and I think the spheres are a bit too large I'm gonna make this 0 100 or maybe like 0 0.050 and one more thing to add is the collision self collide and that will make the n particles self collide with each other all right so now we have something like this so instead of using the basic nucleus you can add more fields and that will just give you more control over your n particles and now you can see we have all the particles spreading out into a deep space we can stop that if we don't want that we can simply go to the uh, particles shape here and in the lifespan let's make it random range we'll make it somewhere about 3 and we'll make it 10 maybe like 5 should be good enough let's play this I think we can have more all right and let's quickly go into the shading and let's try to add few colors I'm gonna quickly remove this one and let's add this one as well and let's take this one as well we'll have something of this as well All right. so once you have all this let's make this randomize ID and now there we go so we have some particles dying too soon some particles I think we need more particles in the scene so what we can do is quickly go into the emitter and we can increase the rate particle per second so I'll make this 300 let's play and here now you can see we have much more denser particles all around our scene so this looks pretty good you can change the seed you can change the look if you want you can change anything so this is uh, the overall benefit of having more control over your end particles using the fields so instead of nucleus you can simply get rid of gravity if you want gravity you can go to fields and solvery and you can have your own gravity as well that will just add more gravity to your scene let's maybe make it two so there you go so this was it this was a pretty short video just a simple demonstration of how you can use fields and solvers fields basically with n particles as well to get more control on your particles so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video